I'd love to ask you a little bit about um, music in the church. Mm -hmm. As I hear you talk, this powerful connection between folk music, art music, but then church music. Mm -hmm. And how, how over the, the years of your uh, performing, arranging, um, what do you think are the kind of unique um, gifts of music in the church? And, and what are some of the challenges that you really would love for the next generation to sure. pay attention to? Yeah. Well, let me tell you, first of all, uh, I'm very much anchored to music in the church because, as I mentioned before, that is where I began. I've written mm -hmm. compositions for you know, all kinds of mediums and for all kinds of purposes. But that understanding of what had been part of my own background was directly related to music in the church. That's why I had heard it. Mm -hmm. That's why I had experienced it to know something about it in the sense of, of what it can mean uh, as therapy, as a kind of um, balm. Uh, for things in, in life that don't go right. That's why I always really appreciated the power of the sorrow song. Mm -hmm. And when you hear those kinds of things, they are real in the sense that they don't serve as vehicles for entertainment. And everywhere I've gone where I've done church work, I've tried to in indicate, yes, there is a role that a church choir plays mm -hmm. and the church musician. That is partly intended to provide some enrichment, and I dare say some entertainment. Mm -hmm. But if that is all that you have, mm -hmm. then again, the bucket is certainly close to empty. Mm -hmm. There has to be a message because you're talking about something that has its place in the worship experience. Mm -hmm. And if it fails to meet that mandate as worship music, mm -hmm. then it is perhaps questionable as whether it should be included in, into that context. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm very careful about that. And the other side of it is I've written most of the, there have been two primary sources for many of the things that I've written. One of them has been because of the particular church or the particular choir that I was working with. So you will see at the top of a lot of my music written for the, uh, whether, whatever, the Ebenezer Baptist Church, the Peniel Baptist Church. And then the other is for my students or personal friends who had particular needs or something that they would want. Mm -hmm. Because in that way, I see, I visualize, I hear the body for whom I'm writing. Mm -hmm. And it makes it easier for me uh, to write because it's a targeted kind of performance uh, environment that I'm trying to capture there. Beautiful. 